On this day, I remember and will not forget that love is all around me. I acknowledge love's presence in myself and others and breathe in with every breath all the power it bestows. Good morning, good people. Welcome to a vlog that is all about a self-care reset. Y'all, I came back from Mexico and I was super sick. I was down for probably about a week. I actually still have a bit of a cough and some sinus stuff going on. And after that, my anxiety was just through the roof. I think a lot of it was because I just didn't feel settled and it felt like I couldn't get anything done as far as my productivity was concerned. I'm sure because I was sick. And uh, that's the way anxiety works. Instead of actually recognizing what's ahead of you and allowing yourself some grace when you're not feeling the best, mine just ramped all the way up because I was anxious about being sick and about not being able to get my work done. And then when I would try to work, nothing kind of felt like it was getting done correctly. I was not focused because I was sick. So it became this cycle. I don't know if anybody can relate to that, but um, I'm feeling much better mentally and physically. This week has been much easier to ease into, including a few rides on my Peloton. And uh, this morning, I just decided to take it a little slow. I got up around 7.30. Nowhere to be really until 10 and no meetings until 12. So I want to spend this morning with y'all just getting my life back in order. Did my journaling, checked my agenda also did my skincare routine and I feel like the skin has been skinning honey let me put on a little bit of lip balm though this one has a slight brown tint but not really it's from the lip lab this was given to the folks who went down to the wharf around the holidays for their um event so I like to keep that on my desk so when my lips get a little chapped I can put it on I want to talk to y'all about my skincare briefly because I think that it has been really improving the condition of my skin. What happened was I think I used some combination of serums incorrectly or maybe there is a serum that I've been using, an acid that my skin does not like because I had all these little small bumps, almost kind of like a rash. And I mean, you had to get close to see it but it was inflamed for sure on the bottom of my cheeks. And so I cut out all of the acids, I cut out all of the serums and I have only been focused y'all on just basic natural products. And if you're going through something similar and you need to get back to the basics, I thought this might be helpful for you. Really quick, let me light my candle. My mom called and put me on to this Trader Joe's rose scented candle. Girl, this thing is like five bucks. And when I tell you it's giving Diptyque's roses, got my wig trimmers I was very impressed as soon as I smelled it I got two because <laughs> as y'all know Trader Joe's only has limited products and this is one of those um, limited edition products this is for Valentine's Day so if you're down near Trader Joe's girl pick that up get you a few you're gonna love it but I start and I do the same routine morning and night again I'm trying to just outside of a makeup remover I'm trying to just back to the basics the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser by Use to the People. As you can see, this one is almost done. I will be replacing it. It has an incredible lather to it. Does it have a smell? Kind of, but I doubt that that's an added fragrance. Green Tea might be the best way to describe the fragrance, just very fresh. Afterwards, I picked up this toner from CVS the other day because I was out of the one I was using, but that one also had glycolic acid in it. And again, I'm just trying to bring it back to the basics. And so this is a Burt's Bees toner. It has witch hazel and aloe in it. It's for sensitive skin. I think that's really been helping. And I put that on with my Shiseido cotton pads. Y'all, I've been using these for years. I never knew a cotton pad could bring me so much joy because look at that, it's square and it's kind of layered. A regular cotton ball shall come nowhere near my face, honey. No, 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 no. We work too hard around these parts, okay? We gotta give ourselves something. Follow that up with the Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream by Use to the People. This is really good. It's especially really good this time of year. Even though I have oily skin, 
doesn't mean that my skin doesn't get dry during the winter months and so I have loved this and when they, they call it air whip that's exactly what they mean it is light easy to apply and it makes my skin feel very moisturized sometimes the products that are geared towards oily skin or that are oil free can actually make my skin feel a little tight and so I've been appreciating putting on something that's more moisture rich and because that does not have a sunscreen in it, I have gone back to my Super Goop sunscreen. This one is the Unseen. Let's just very quickly do a test. Okay, because for my melanated peoples, we gotta make sure that we're not left with a white cast. And I also just love the way this feels. It almost feels like a primer in some ways. Like. I don't want to say it mattifies your skin, but that's the feeling it has on your fingers as you are applying it. And so, as you can see, it is completely translucent. And this has been one of my favorite sunscreens for years. It is an SPF 40. I am still in my robe, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, we're going to fix that pretty soon, but right now we're going to go and we're going to grab something to eat. I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat and ooh, we're going to see a couple of the girls, honey, the content girls. We're going to see Kay uh, today as well as Frank. Frank in the City is having an event at Peloton, which I'm very excited about. I've already texted him like, Frank, what's the attire? Am I putting on like a cute little workout outfit? Am I putting the clothes? Like what am I doing? Because we're not riding a Peloton. We're doing a meditation. So I'll wait to see what he says about that. Um, and uh, Kate will be there. And I'm sure other content creators as well. So you'll get to see all of them. And then tomorrow, I am having lunch, y'all, with Alex L. Now, Alex doesn't know how much I admire and adore her, but I'm sure I'll fangirl when I see her. But I have used some kind of a resource of Alex's, either her affirmation cards or her journals, for years. And so to know that we now are building a relationship off the internet is just... I don't know if if my friends are a reflection of who I am in the season I, I'm in in my life, then that makes me feel good about myself to know that someone like her, who is so grounded and rooted in self care, wants to chill with me. Girl, I like play spades and pop bottles and smoke Newports on occasion. So, but God, I thank you because every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. Shundo. All right, food is in order, good people. I'm a little type A, y'all, so I went to the grocery store on Monday. Today is Thursday, and I do not like to um, leave my like fruit and my vegetables for the most part, but definitely my fruit in the packaging that it's in when it's in the store. I don't know if anybody else is like that. Everybody's touched it, and I don't know. I also feel like I just want my stuff to be pretty in my refrigerator, okay? Just in vain. Um, and so I got some pineapple from Trader Joe's. It actually was pretty sweet. Some berries. And I keep these kind of washed and easy to just grab and go because whenever I want something sweet, I have a horrific sweet tooth, y'all. I could eat something sweet every meal of the day. I'm much more sweet over savory. And so I have to have like fruit and things that I can grab and go, including grapes as well. Um, if I get nothing else from the store, I'm going to always have grapes, girl. That is one of my favorite fruits, and I find that they last for a long time. So what I'm going to do is enjoy that with some uh, Greek yogurt plain. I was adding so much stuff in my yogurt. I was adding granola. I was adding maple syrup. I was doing the thing and the thing. And the yogurt was vanilla. And I just realized it was so high calorie that it was defeating the purpose. Um, so I brought it bare bones. And I'm going to grab a banana too because that's definitely going to sweeten it a little bit more naturally. Now, this has... Uh, I'm at a big age, so protein is important in my diet. 15 grams of protein, which is pretty good. But for me, all yogurt is not made the same. So I definitely stick with Greek yogurt. And when I'm not at Trader Joe's, I like to get the Icelandic yogurt because I think that has like 19 grams of protein in it. Um, so I may boil a couple eggs just to have to go along with this so that I'm not starving before 12 o'clock because I'm going to get out of here at noon and get my nails done. But let's put our little parfait together.
my eggs are boiling but we're going to enjoy my yogurt and fruit if you all know of any great kind of low calorie granola let me know the one that i was using again had so much sugar in it until i just had to stay away from it but i like that added texture maybe i can put like some chia seeds or some flax seeds or something on it i don't know but i want a little crunch I used to be so afraid of plain yogurt because I thought that it would be disgusting, honestly, and like really bitter, which is why even when I transitioned to it, I would still put maple syrup or honey on it. But when you have the right amount of fruit, I mean, it sweetens it sufficiently, so it's fine. Sorry, y'all, the battery died. Puka, you want to come say hi? Mimi, there's nobody at the door. Come here. Puka needs a haircut really bad, y'all. She's going on um, Saturday. Mima, you say hi. She's growing a bang. We're going to do a little ponytail. So they need to put it up. Hey, she's going to get an updo, girl. Finger wave, little ocean wave, some waterfalls. She's a black dog, so you know. Mima, you gonna say hi? Let me give her a treat, hold on. I wanted to also tell y'all about my tinctures that I have been using. So I take a prescription anxiety med and I really don't wanna have to increase the dose. I haven't been feeling my best as I've mentioned to you, but I'm trying to change some environmental factors and also increase my supplements or um, just natural things that I can add to my diet that will help and so I have been drinking a lot of water and what I put in my water is two things one is kava which is a supplement that helps with anxiety and I have used this before but not as consistently and I do think that it is helping and so I put that in my water 30 drops in juice or water one to three times daily or as needed and I also have this tincture that I've had for a minute that I also really really love I think I got this from California probably and this is a THC in a CBD tincture um, now it does have THC in it so that they are gonna get you right but what I do is I use much less of this I mean I probably put three drops of this in my water now I have a tolerance because I have been a THC lover for years uh, so recreationally and also medicinally y'all know I'm a cancer survivor and so those two things together in my water has been helping to calm my nervous system for sure let's go put on an outfit for the day today's OOTD is pretty simple y'all I grabbed a couple basics from Anina Bing over the weekend for spring and one of the things I picked up is this super soft sweatshirt I could live in this has a tiger, I need a bing. It's this kind of heather gray, and it feels very vintage, which I love. I'm wearing a pair of skinny jeans by Universal Standard. Y'all have seen these a bunch of times, and I'm just going to put on my white boots. These are the ones that are from Dolce Vita. This is my second pair. I gave my first pair away. So I grabbed a second pair. I just got those in the mail. And it is cold outside, y'all. But I'll be in and out of the car. I mean, from inside to the car. So I don't have to worry about putting on a big coat today. And I'm just going to wear this puffer that is from Quince. It is so soft and so warm. And the hood comes off and it comes in multiple colors so no makeup because i want to do my makeup when i come back well for tonight so just fresh face gonna put up some put on some gloss and get out the door for my nails i've had this like pink for three weeks now they are very much grown out i want to go back to my traditional nude colors but what had happened was i went in to get a new set and they used white acrylic because I wanted chrome nails that time and before I knew it I was he was like on the second nail 
And at that point, I was in a time crunch and I didn't feel like having him soak those two nails off. And so I've been trying to grow out this white acrylic <laughs> since October, y'all, okay? So I'm just hoping we're almost because I can go back to my nude, but if not, we'll choose a darker color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The beat is on. The beat is on. Is that the song? I don't even know. Girl, I might say the heat is on. It's on. Hi, friends. I'm back from getting the nails done, and I've realized that I haven't given y'all a rat tail update since December at Art Basel, so. Let me tell y'all something. I'm getting your time to shine. All the middle part bust down, girlies, I'm gonna let you have it. You got probably about 30 days that I'm coming through guns blazing because the second I'm able to get those three strands to braid and put a singular bead on this, it's over for you. It's over. You've been warned, now behave accordingly. Y'all, what do you wear to a Peloton event? What do you like, what do you wear? And it's so hard because I've been watching Toon Day. I did a class with Toon Day recently, it was pre-recorded. Toon Day was wearing a god daggone white jumpsuit. It was her and Alex. A white jumpsuit and a red lip. And it changed my life. On a bike. Arms. Michelle Obama. The arms. Angela Bassett, all up and through here. So that's my visual of Peloton, but we know clearly that you're working out. That can't be what you actually look like on the Peloton. So I hit Frank this morning, and I was like, what am I supposed to wear? And he was like, well, I'm wearing trousers and a hoodie and some sneakers. So thank you, friend, because you were able to give me a little idea. It's given ath bougie not at the leisure but ath bougie so let's break down the outfit okay makeup is on these lashes are i think they're called fit and flare by sephora they will be of course linked this is my favorite red lip it's called boss lady by the lip bar rest of my makeup is pretty min minimal and if you're interested in my everyday application hop over to my youtube video that i just released it's a get ready with me called i quit and i share my story about quitting my job as a lawyer working in public policy but i threw on my trusty dusty og triple og a Ritzia tank that I need in every color. The black one is the one that I have repurchased. <laughs> and the white one is dingy. And I have a couple more that I need to pick up this season. So stay tuned for that. I really want to show y'all these trousers. They are silk. I wish they had pockets. Um, but they're kind of wide leg and they're slit on the bottom. They are from Anina Bing. <sighs> Obviously it's cold outside. So we're not going outside with the tank on. But... Leave it up to me to throw on an all black look. I want to do one of those videos that people have been doing on social that's like, I do da 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 da. Of course I. And in my mind, it's, I love neutrals. Of course I have 10 black blazers. I don't. I've tried to edit that part of my closet. But this is a new one from Anita Bing as well. That woman needs to pay me. I'm wearing almost all Anita Bing. Um, and it is a wool one that I picked up right before the holiday season. No, no, I'm lying. I wore this on New Year's Eve. So <clears throat> for me, it almost doubles as like a light coat because it's wool. So I love the fact that I now have a blazer that's fit for this season. I'm wearing a large. I didn't want it to feel a bit oversized. Not too boxy, but kind of oversized. I'm sorry, y'all. I have got to keep a daggone lint roller because one thing you won't do is catch me out here and lean it down no my ancestors fought too hard i'm not going to be able to do that um i also wanted to share with you the ash killer honey the ash killer of the season i found the collab that we all need do y'all know about nux if you don't this is just screenshot this honey 
Because I can't imagine something different that you actually need in your life. It is a head to toe body oil, multi purpose nourishing oil, face, body, hair. I picked this up and it was supposed to be a gift for somebody, but I had forgot to give it to them last March. And when I found it in my cabinet, I said, well, I guess it was a gift for me. And I had never used the one in the kind of frosted bottle. And I feel like the oil is a little bit heavier. But if you are a body skincare person, the shine that this puts on your body is a different level. And I love the idea of a spray oil. NUX is a French brand. Unfortunately, you can't go to like CVS and grab it. It's always going to be in duty-free shops. And sometimes Amazon has it as well. I don't know who else has it online, but I'll look for y'all. But what I've loved mixing that wick with is the Karen's Essentials Body Butter. It is whipped, as I've told y'all before. This is the larger size. And this fragrance is Cashmere. It's light. Still, look at that. Hold on. Look at girl. Look at that thing. Look at that. Look at that thing. Look, look, look. Oh, girl. That's so good. Um, that is available on Karen's website, y'all. And Karen gave us a 20%. Yes, I said 20% discount code. So politics and fashion 20. Hop over to Karen's Essentials. And show that sister some love. I always uh, talk about her shower steamers as well. She has a new design for those that I like a lot. They're a lot more kind of like solid. I shared them on my stories. So hop over there, enjoy 20% off, and support a black woman-owned business. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit. Let me hold up. Put a little bit in my, put a little bit in my rat tail. Shoot. Make that, th hold on. Margo was like, do you want your hair to look like that? My podcast co-host. I was like, yes, it's called a rat tail. She was like, but why? I said, just wait and see. And then I had to cheat on Leslie, my barber, last week because I needed a haircut so bad, y'all. And the barber I went to was an older man and he called it a shag. And I'm like, nobody gets the vision. But that's okay. Because what did the lady from Theranos say? I've been watching that Theranos. Dropout. Have y'all seen that on Netflix? About Elizabeth Holmes? She said, first they doubt you. That fake deep voice. And then everyone becomes a believer. This is my Elizabeth Holmes. This is this is this is my Theranos. Where's this headed? Where's this headed? Okay, uh, one more thing. Because we got to give them a little athleisure, right? Ath bougie, as I mentioned. And I uh, figure we'll take the clutch. So I'll show you the full outfit before I get out of here. Oh, really quickly, fragrance. I wanted to share this with you all during my black business haul that I have planned for February. But I grabbed this, or I received this, I'm sorry, at an event. Uh, the Black Beauty Effects. It's a panel that was hosted at Eaton. It is the Black Girl Jane fragrance. This one is in the fragrance Casablanca. And the notes are cardamom, marshmallow, incense, saffron, suede, vanilla orchid. And the base is glowing amber, soft musks, and sandalwood. If you saw my fragrance video during Vlogmas, then you already know how I feel about both saffron and sandalwood. So they had me there. And I also don't know why more fragrances don't tell you the notes on the actual box. Like, duh, we need to know. I think this is the smaller bottle because I've seen this in Nordstrom, I think, and it's larger. But that's it. I love the color, the minimal design. It smells so good, y'all. Oh, yes. That thing smells luxe, honey. Who that thing smell good? All right. 
I also just remembered that we're going to YSL first. They gave me a call and told me that their newest collection dropped and they're having a trunk show at Tyson. So we're gonna hit there and then we're gonna hit Frank's event at Peloton. Let's go. First stop is Tyson's Galleria. Y'all, I am so hungry. I have no idea why I came out here and did not eat. Um, I put me an apple in this bag like last minute because I was like, shit. Girl, I gotta keep me a snack. I need a bar like my mom. Do you ever notice how you turn into your parent? I used to always laugh at my mom, be like, you got a, why you got a bar in your bag? And now, girl, if I had me a protein bar, it would change the game. <laughs> Shout out to my sister apparel line. Tell us yes. where to find it. Jesus be knowing everywhere at Jesus be knowing on Instagram, all the socials, Jesus be knowing that. <laughs> it's a celebrity here. Thank you, sis. Yeah, yeah. Now that that's it's actually a mocktail. <laughs> she lives. <laughs> You tired, Mimi? Good morning. Hi. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yesterday was a time, y'all. I woke up and I felt so proud of myself because I had so much to do. I had different places to do those things in short periods of time and I got it all done. And I feel like I wasn't too anxious. I was focused and I actually had a really good time. So you saw me down at Saint Laurent. It was good to see all of my people, my former colleagues, and to just Kiki. If you haven't been to the Tyson store and you're in the area, please go and visit. I think it's the best customer service, unbiased, of course. But also the boutique is new. So from when I was there, they basically expanded. They took over. There was a Mont Blanc right beside it. Um, and they actually, I think, went back a bit as well. Either way, the store is double the size that it once was. Was, and I love it even the case lines in the middle of the store that has all these great accessories are amazing speaking of accessories you saw me try on those amazing earrings and the wild part y'all is that I have been keeping a list like a wish list for Paris and those earrings were on it and I had no idea like the style because sometimes their earrings can be a little dainty the newer ones, the newest collection, um, are much bolder, as you saw. But I thought that the YSL was going to be very small and I couldn't tell the size of the hoops. And when I tried them things on, girl. Last year, I was on a no-buy for luxury costume jewelry and it was hard. I'm not going to lie because last year is also when Bottega had this moment with jewelry. And I stuck it through, but this year we're going to change some things up. because i really do want to focus on accessories more for 2024 so uh stay tuned stay tuned and let's see how it goes uh tried on ysl shoes i don't know why you already know i said i was on a no buy and sure enough i tried a 42 on in a pair of mules or satin mules they are stunning as you saw they were green they had them in about three or four different colors and about this much of my heel was hanging off the back so not gonna be able to do those. Uh, tried on a Cookie Lion spoke fur, that was amazing. And all of the cuffs are also delicious. And so 
um, Song of Life continues to have my heart for sure. Still upset about the shoes, but they're ready to wear and the accessories are delicious. Left there and hopped over to Tyson's One and went to the Peloton event that Frank had, Frank Grimsley. Um, and uh, we had a good time. His story is so inspirational. It was called Dream Big. They had a DJ, they had mocktails. And it was a chance to hear Frank's story and to also learn a little bit more about Peloton. It was the exact kind of activation that I think more brands need to have with people like Frank at the helm. Um, because he just encouraged us all in such an amazing way that didn't feel performative or like a, you know, like a, a, a life coach. It just felt like he was telling his story and you thought, okay, if he could do it, I could do it too. And so we wrote down um, on these cards, like what our, our big, big dream was. And, and Frank says his dream, I'm gonna tell y'all, cause we are all manifesting this with him, is that he's gonna be an Emmy Award winner. And he's like, I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but that's the dream and I know what's gonna happen. I already have my Emmy, Ashe. You already got your Emmy friends, so we're celebrating with you in advance. Um, and it was interesting, y'all, because I recently had this thought. <clears throat> There's this show that's called Sheer Luck. Some of you all may have seen it. And I remember it was on, like, my YouTube was on autoplay. I have kind of YouTube in the background. It's the ambient noise in my house most days. And um, the show was on, and I just love the way that it is filmed. I love that they have put more people of color um, in front of the camera because that was one of my criticisms of them in the past. And so I'm just kind of watching it. And I said, I would love to do that. I could do that. And instantly a voice said, but how would you produce that? And I just kind of walked out the room. And then last night, hearing Frank said, it's not my job to know how. It's my job to dream. I said, Shonda, oh my God. It was just my job to dream. The production and how I get there, I have to trust and have faith that that's going to be revealed to me. But what's most important is that I set the intention. So y'all, let's touch and agree. We are manifesting a television show. It can be on YouTube, it can be on a major broadcast network. But what's clear to me is that I don't wanna just be in front of the camera. I want a production role with this and I think what I'm dreaming about is something that feels lifestyle related, it feels social justice rooted, it feels like a celebration of black womanhood, it feels like a little bit of travel, like a little bit of luxury, like a whole lot of fashion. It feels like all the things, but it's not just me. It's a community that is going to include just amazing black folks doing their thing. So. Help me dream big. I gotta put it out to the universe and know that it will come. What's your big dream? Let us know down below. We are a tribe. So we gonna all touch and agree. You and I must never part my t -ta -ta. Like tell me, we gotta know. What's your Mati Data dream? Put it down below, all right? Um, I'm up in a good mood as you can see. I think that just lifted me in all sincerity yesterday. And I wanted to share with you all um, what the folks, uh oh, my bad at Peloton gave us. So we all left with a little goodie bag. First up, by the way, I have a ride today at 3.30 that I'm looking forward to. I have it scheduled already. Is a water bottle. This is glass, honey. A glass water bottle with the rubber on the outside. So thank you for that. Look, I'm about to put it right here. So I can remember to fill it up for my ride today. I got, uh oh, I did not mean to do that. Shoot. A heart monitor, which I am going to give to someone who needs it. A heart rate monitor because I have an Apple Watch, so it does this for me. But that is what it looks like. And I'm assuming it just connects seamlessly to your Peloton. And I've not taken any of the other classes yet on the app. I was talking to a very nice lady who was sitting beside me who put me up on a lot of her favorite um, coaches or trainers in different areas outside of just cycling. But they also gave us, which these are really nice, y'all. It's a whole box of these. Look, and they come in individual bags. Resistance bands. Step up your resistance training with high-grade natural rubber latex resistance bands featuring premium aluminum and rubber-coated handles for a no-slip grip. So it's a set of three. I'm assuming maybe each one has a different kind of level of resistance. But 
Many thanks to the folks at Peloton for those goodies and to Frank for an amazing event last night. Right now I'm gonna go and get some work done. Today is Friday, I always have a call on Friday mornings. Um, and then I have to edit a YouTube video. I have a cu couple other calls. I have a workout schedule, as I mentioned, at 3.30. And tonight we are going out. So uh, let me show you first what I am wearing. This is my comfortable kind of lounge outfit that I wear um, on Fridays. My call is pretty casual. And I have been loving this Quince like jogger set. Already seen the top of today's look. And then because the pants are a little short, I don't mind having my socks showing. Um, and then we have the Gucci loafers with the fur. Clutch. The Conti pouch rather is by Goyard. And that is today's easy, casual, preppy, comfortable look for lunch. Let's go meet Alex. Yo, I am here with one known as Alex L. Alex, you want to say hi? Sure. Hey, y'all. <laughs> We've had such a good time at lunch, and I have our guy to even film. But just know we are at Seventh State in Bethesda, and it's very delicious. Are we doing dessert? I think we should. I think, I mean, we gotta do it. I got a Peloton ride coming up, so you know. Ma'am, I'm still waiting for you to add me on Peloton. I've been going to do it. I'm old. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You add me. I will add you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Have you taken one of Alex Toussaint's classes yet? The, the brother? I haven't. You know who I like? I like Tunde. I love Tunde. Alex? It's true. He makes it easier. He makes it ride easy. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Y'all, go follow Alex. <laughs> Y'all, that was so much fun. I am back home from lunch with Alex. If you are not hip and you have no idea who she is, I will definitely link her social media, her website down below. She is a New York Times bestselling author and just gives you all the feels, not just online. I feel like what we see online is a fragment of who she really is. And so it was amazing to see her in person. And I feel like the past two days have given me exactly what I needed right I, I came here telling you that I wanted and I needed a self-care and like a a moment to pour into myself after coming from such high anxiety and things just feel a lot calmer I slept so well last night I had a great morning and a great lunch and laughed and I cried a little bit with Alex and I missed my Peloton appointment but I'm about to hop on this bike now Getting ready to go out tonight. We're gonna start off at this new bar in DC. It's a gay bar called Thirst. It is on 14th Street, I think. And we may end up at a couple other spots, but let me show you tonight's OOTD. Of course, the Natia and the Laco earrings. And I'm wearing a dress, y'all, that I have had forever, ever. Um, I'm surprised it actually still fits. It's actually a little stretched, but I think it's gonna work. It's not as cold as it has been tonight, so I'm just gonna do the Bottega Moto Kate, and I'll show you the dress. This is an oldie but goodie from Farfetch. It's by Sir. I think it's Sir. Yeah, and it has these cutouts on the side. Um, very stretchy, as I mentioned, it's a size medium. I will link it if I can still find it or something similar. I decided to put it on with my white boots. These are the, I think they're called the Camerons, but they are the white Western boots, obviously, by Dolce Vita. I just wanted to be comfortable. The toe tap on them, as you can see, is silver, but I thought a little mixed metal moment, nothing was wrong with that. Bust down wrist, courtesy of Free Maiden and Cartier. Um, and then, obviously, I have the gold on my moto as well. My bag for tonight is gonna bring in more gold. That is the Lanvan, the Lanvan tonight, honey. Yes, yes, God. And then tonight's fragrance, let me grab it. And then tonight's fragrance is the Baccarat Rouge by Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. 
As I told y'all in my fragrance video, I really, really like wearing this at night because I think it's just a sexy fragrance. Good morning. It is a beautiful, sunshiny day in Northern Virginia. I'm down in Old Town. I just had breakfast at Tate. Call me basic, because I heard Tate is just a glorified Panera, but I don't care. Okay, I have the Tate brunch sweatshirt. I am ride or die by the Tate. I will cut across three lanes of traffic to get to a Tate. It is my happy place, and it's that's just that's it's gonna have to be what it is, okay? It's just bougie enough, it's just accessible enough, it's just fresh enough, it's just healthy enough, and it's just tasty enough. Stop by Tate if y'all ain't been. It's not sponsored. I'm a Tate basic B. Um, and now I am going to walk down to the girls, honey, the dog. So I'm gonna see my family and my friends over at Penny Post. You'll see why in just one second. It is my happy place, my second happy place. I grabbed a refill of my pen, which I definitely needed, and a couple other goodies. Nothing major, I didn't go crazy in there, but I used to do a lot of workshops with them, so hopefully that will pick up again in 2024 because I just really love it. So this is the space, y'all. If you see me posting anything about a workshop down the Penny Post, I'm here in Old Town, Alexandria. There's a Gloomers here, which is like a small, um, small boutique that has intimates and I desperately need some new bras, so I'm gonna pop in there as well. Hi guys, last time I saw you, I was down at Bloomers picking up a new bra and some undies. It's nothing like new intimates that just make you feel brand new as a person, you know what I mean? Uh, I picked up a new bra from Waco, which is one of my favorite bra companies as far as like full coverage bras are concerned. It's not dainty. It is like one of them that you're just going to get in there, lift the girls up, and do what needs to be done. But here's your reminder to get fitted for a bra this year. Um, I have not been fitted in probably about, ashamedly, two or three. And to my surprise, surprise, I have gone up quite a few cups on the left side. And so they have to obviously fit you for your largest breast. They are sisters, they are not twins. And especially because on my right side is where I had cancer and 19 rounds of radiation. So they're not gonna catch up to each other. And I'm now a 32 triple D, fun fact. Um, also important to note, no one asked for this, but I feel like this might be dollars that somebody needs. Your band and not the underwire is what gives you lift. And so, you know, when the things get to sagging, it's because your band is likely wore out or it's too large. And a 32 is more about providing me lift and support. It also relates to the cup size in some way. I don't get that whole science, but it's about giving me lift. Did that, went home and just knocked out, girl. You saw me last night out and about, had a couple drinks at Thirst, which was cool, left Thirst and then migrated over to U Street and it's a cute little bar there that I like where I had the cocktail that you all would have saw that like, I don't know, ballooned down. It wasn't too sweet, it was refreshing, it was really good. I'm sure I put the name of this on the screen. I can't remember the name of the bar now, um, but it's kind of moody. They had a playlist going. It was just a vibe. It was cute. It was fun. Wanted to go out to another spot and just didn't make it. Came home, ate a veggie burger. 
and knocked out, y'all. So this morning trip to Tate was much needed. And now I am at the Korean spa. It is called Parkside in Northern Virginia. People are here relaxing and lounging. So I am going to be brief because I don't want to disturb them. This is the perfect way to end this self-care vlog. I am wearing the uniform that they give you when you come to the common areas. And when you come out here, you have two saunas. Um, actually, yeah, you have two saunas and you have a cold room behind me. You also have a cafe and a full kind of uh, restaurant that is delicious. I have a uh, pineapple smoothie, which I get every time I come here. It's a little bit of coconut in it and it's so refreshing. It's so good. This is a wonderful way to treat yourself. I recommend coming in the morning or come in the evening. I arrived at eight and it is a lot less people than typical because it can get packed. And that is it, good people. Thank you so much for rocking with me in this week's vlog. It definitely achieved exactly what I wanted it to when I checked in with you all at the beginning. Definitely give yourself as much grace and self-care time as you need. We are easing into this new year and treating ourselves kindly. In the meantime, I will see you good people across the internet. Mm -hmm.